what do we do with these increasingly sophisticated computers in our classrooms? Of course, we teach children how to program them because computers are their future, or that was the accepted wisdom of many. But an MIT mathematician and computer scientist by the name of Seymour Papert saw this as an opportunity. He asked, might children learn mathematics by writing about numbers, by writing computer programs that make images that represent geometrical and mathematical concepts? Might we create a math land, an environment where rather than just being taught math, children learn mathematics as naturally as we learn to speak our native languages? So with Papert's programming language, Logo, many students learned math by learning to talk with numbers, to think like mathematicians, and use computers to express their knowledge as images. These revolutionary technologies were sparking revolutionary new ideas about how children can learn. Let me tell you more about the 40 years that I spent as part of this emergence of computers in the classroom. Some of it is humorous, and some of it is very serious because the revolution continues. I offer my book, The Days and Nights of a Quiet Revolution. And it's more than just a book because you can see websites, videos, and podcasts using these codes, which I include throughout its pages. Quiet Revolution is available in print and digital from Amazon or your favorite brick and mortar bookstore. Or simply go to http://quietrevolution.tech. Slash slash